Hello and welcome to Top Hat Chat once again with myself, Street, and the Top Hat Gaming Man. Um, today we are going to be discussing some PS4 related content because we know how much retro uh, gaming fans like that. Yes, um, they bloody love it, don't they? Yeah. But uh, in regards to that, the main question is how will the PlayStation 4 be remembered in years from now, do you think? How will people Ooh. reflect back on their experiences with the system? That's a strange thing to do. Like it's almost talking about kind of the legacy. Yes, that's going to be left behind Indeed. by the PS4. Um, the PS4 did some very interesting things. It went from being an underdog in the games console market with the death of the PS3 and the Xbox 360, um, and you know, on, not on its last legs as such, but was definitely the inferior console. Well, I think the point you're trying to make, because uh, I will make it, uh, I will make your point more rounded, because I know what you're trying to say. You're basically trying to say the PlayStation 3 was the first um, Sony um, household console what did not dominate the market. That's not what I was trying to say. But well, what that, I, no, what I, I will make that point. No, then, no. What, I, 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 I will make that point then because it's important. What I was trying to say was is that uh, the PS3 was the. Um, was the what? Let me know. I know you just pushed me. Yeah, because I was trying to build on your point. But I will. I will legitimately you get you done for assault. No, you will not. It's recorded. But I didn't assault you. You did. No, I didn't. You touched me. I touched you. I didn't assault you. It reasonable force. It was reasonable force. That doesn't work with kids. It won't work with me. True. True. Anyway, uh, the PS4. Um, so the PS4 did some quite interesting things. Um, the things that it did were, it managed to regain its top spot um, at the top of the gaming pyramid. It did. Very, very quickly after the PS3 did so miserably against the Xbox 360. Um, and how it did that was basically through a series of complete mistakes. I think you need to get your facts straight slightly. Uh, the Xbox, it did, there was a point where the Xbox 360 was dominating against the PlayStation 3. It ended up relatively okay. Yes. Overall, it ended up balanced. Mm. And then it came back, and when the PS4 was released, a series of severe mistakes by Microsoft. Indeed, that part is definitely true. Um, basically, forced the PS4 to the top. It did. By a considerable margin. It did, yes. Um, with ridiculous statements made by um, Xbox such as the console will always have to be online or you can't play any games. Yes, and also the fact that apparently you was going to buy games and the moment you put them in a the system it would be locked to that system forever. Yeah. So you would never be able to sell anything on ever again. So the PS4 become amazing because the Xbox one was, were being greedy. Yeah, basically people bought the PlayStation 4 because the Xbox One was being marketed to be awful, a product what no one would actually want. Yes, um, and I think that's quite interesting because Sony didn't do any of that itself. <laughs> that's hilarious. It was what literally it? just luck. Um, but what they did after that is they capitalised on the mistakes of the Xbox. You could argue that Xbox was it luck because the other theory is that the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 was originally intended to be exactly like how the Xbox One was going to be. But because the Xbox One was launching before the PlayStation 4, they got to see the outrageous amount of negative backlash Microsoft got, so they just capitalised on yeah, that's, that's and took the mick. Pretty sure that's exactly what I just said. You didn't. You said <laughs> that it was luck, but it wasn't. They saw what they had done, mm. and then they changed their mind okay. what they was going right. to do. So same point, just whether it was luck or not is debatable. Yeah, I like it, it, the PlayStation 4 was going to be the same, to my knowledge. Everything was going to be the same. It's going to always be online. The games are going to be locked. All that more standing with Sony, as far as I'm aware. But they saw what happened to Microsoft, and then they thought, we're just going to stick the knife in here. Okay, fair point. Mm. Okay. Um, it's what Sony then did after that little press conference that Xbox did, and the whole debacle there. And then after this, once it became bigger, it started to do things a little bit differently and started experimenting. And throwing some of that money from the console sales into developing its own games. Which is a really smart idea because now, when was it released? Six years ago? Five years ago? I think 2012. So, wrong. quite a while. Six years ish? Yeah. Yeah. So, six years ago. Um, in the six years, people are now saying how great the PS4 library is. Yes. And the exclusives are, and that is the reason to buy it. So, the fact that they did that was very smart of them. After this, they also started experimenting more with peripherals. Um, one of the big successes of, well, I say big successes, but one of the big gambles of the 360 was the Kinect system. And it had a lot of promise. 
And they've expanded on that and kind of gone, right, okay, well, we're going to do something different. We're going to get an expen- like a peripheral that is going to do things. And the VR came out. Oh, it comes up so much in the live chat video. But this is definitely something to talk about. I don't think it sells the system we're at ta- all, but, but we're talking about the legacy of the PS4 and what, how it's going to be seen in 10 years, 15 years' time. So I think VR is important. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's really... I think it's going to be the equivalent of like the Kinect on the 360. I think it's going to be there. But I don't really think it's going to be anything people really talk about or acknowledge, mm. personally. Yeah. So, But it could go either way. I think it'll be remembered as a system with a large, large library of um, quality games. Mm. Which is true. There's no denying that. Yeah. But it could influence um, the next generation of consoles to either go with VR and try and push for that as part of their systems, or kill it off completely, depending on how well it phases, uh, how well it goes with a PS4. I think that's a fair... Possibly. I think that's well, a fair I, comment to make. Yeah, personally, I think it is one of those um, one of those pieces of technology that comes around in cycles once every 20 years, the Maybe. same as 3D. I've said this a few times on the channel, we first got 3D in the 1950s, it then had a second wind in the 1980s, its third wind came in the 2010s when people were strange and decided to buy 3D televisions. Yeah. Do you remember that? Every time. They have to wait for people to forget how bad that te- technology is, then relaunch it. I believe uh, VR is the same. It had its first um, big big run in the early 90s mm-hmm. and we've just had its second. So in theory we should not get any more um, horrible VR until around um, 2036 or something like that. <laughs> I like the fact you put in an exact year. Yeah. Right? Do you want to put a date on it as well? Uh, okay, we say uh, March. Yeah, we say March twenty second, um, two thousand thirty six. So uh, yeah. So if you're watching well. this video um, on March twenty second, twenty thirty six, um, let us know how VR's doing. Yeah, we'd like to know. Mm. We would. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it, the Google console is coming out. We yes. have no idea what this is, and we're going to briefly bring this in as well. Because do you not think that Google will be looking at how well the PS4 VR is doing and thinking, should we go along with Oh yeah, de- definitely. Of course they'll be analysing. Exactly. So that's kind of the point that I was mm. making before. It will make it will be a make or break of whether they do that in the next generation of consoles. Here's a question though. Um, a console's legacy is always um, impacted on, on how useful it is. As well, and obviously, we can go back and we can play PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 games, buy them in the shop for a lot of pound, at the yeah. moment, which is excellent. PlayStation 4, though, although you will be able to buy the games for pennies uh, down the line, have they ruined it so that now will the discs be useless because now you need updates and stuff? So are they essentially just going to be worth throwing in the bin down the line? Potentially. Um, we could get to a point where they're then soft moddable, so you can download the patches and the updates online and play the patch that you wish to play that is something that i've thought about before i thought maybe that's it but the other thing is is that are 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 the physical side of the media going to be around at all because we're leaning more and more towards the downloads some of those games are going to be a lot harder to find because they're just being downloaded Mm, yeah, not no. necessarily at the moment because obviously there still is quite a large call for physical media. Well, yeah, we know that the places you're for there's going to be loads of physical media around for it because there is there is loads of physical media around. Yeah. So we know in the future we will be able to get those discs. The question is though, like, as we said, will those discs work? Mm. We don't know at this stage. It's an interesting point. So it mm. could be like the th- it could be like basically. Does retro gaming, will retro gaming end with the Xbox 360 um, mm. and the, what's it called, the PS3? Maybe. It's, it's it, inter- would, would those be the last consoles worth going back to get? Because it's, would the others just be dead? Essentially? It's an interesting thought. Mm. Um, you also got to look at some of the games that are coming out, and even with the Switch and stuff like that, some of them are download only. Yeah. But that's, that's I mean, still, I mean, still what it's been there for. Even on the Wii, there was games on the bloody Wii what were download only, and yeah, they they just disappeared now. Yeah, for now, anyway. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Are we going to be? Are, are some of these games just going to disappear off the face of the planet? Mm. Potentially. Yeah, there's potential for that. So yes, I'm not quite sure how the legacy will be. How long have we been recording? I'm uh, curious. Nine twenty-eight. Nine minutes twenty-eight. I suppose it's about time to wrap, isn't it? I suppose so. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us know in the comment section how you believe the PlayStation 4's legacy will uh, be held up in years to come down the line. Uh, what do you think will happen to the physical media? Do you think the physical media will work as well? i would be curious to hear your thoughts. Is the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 going to be some of the final retro games consoles to collect down the line? Let us know in the comment section. Cheerio! 
I'd like to give a shout out to Michael Keneally, Richard Clark, Ben Sainty, and all of our other patrons for donating to this channel to help us keep going. And if anybody else would like to donate to this channel, there is a link in our description.